our friends the Hare Krishnas. I think they want some money because they have little books there. So I wonder what this man with his shaven head will say to me. I wonder. Oh, they're stopping everybody and anybody. I think I might have to speak to him. The question is, will he tell me anything? Hi. How are you doing today? Yes, very Sorry, good, thank you. My hands are a bit cold. No, my hands are very cold. Oh. Yes, I... <laughs> Have you met any monks before? No, no, where are you from? I'm from, I'm from India originally. We'll be coming from Bhaktivedanta Mana. Traveling oh, and that's more heath, yes. Yes, yes. So have you been there before? Um, I've gone past it, that's where George Harrison yes. gave yes. that to you yes. in the 70s, 60s? Yes, 72. 72. 74. 74. Oh, okay, so you're... Um, not Hindu. No, we are Hare Krishnas. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Yes. And that came before Hinduism, is that right? Uh, what does Hinduism mean? I don't know, you tell me. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. No one knows what does Hinduism mean. Anyways, um, we believe in Bhagavad Gita. Yeah. And it's an ancient literature telling yeah. about what does karma actually mean. Have you heard about the karma? Karma Berlin? is yes. like... Um, what goes around comes around. What goes, yeah. That's Not wonderful. destiny, is it? It's no. like you, what you do. What, what you have yeah. done, how did this come back, what, what actions you are doing, how it is um, coming back to you. Okay. More about, a little bit about the meditation. What does meditation mean? We try meditation every day, two and a half hour. Is it like Buddhism? Something like. Um, but more in a mantras. Have you heard about mantra? Mantra is, uh, is yeah. like when you say something over and over yes. again. So man means mind and tra means release. So the things which release your mind from all the anxieties is called mantras. So explain how you can control your mind. Mind is your best friend if you can control, and your worst yeah. enemy if you can't control. Right? You must okay. have yeah. So how you control the mind from there? How you happy? How you understand who you are? You so are you saying chanting will make you happy? Chanting makes you happy, but when you understand what chanting actually means, is. but in the beginning stages, yes, also. Am I right in saying that when when you the Hare Krishna people come down the street? Yes. Um, chanting, they're chanting the, the name of God. Yes. Krishna's name over yes. and over again. Yes, and at the same time, it means that Krishna means not just the name, but it means one who is more attractive, one who is powerful. So even if you say Allah, right, or yeah. any Jesus, there is an element of Krishna in it. Okay. Because the Krishna as a Sanskrit means, means all attractive. How can it be all attractive mm. when he's not all powerful? Because mm. power attract. How can it be all attractive when he's not all renunciate? Are you saying that all the gods on earth that we know of are yeah, a part this, of the... This Krishna means, it's a Sanskrit word, Okay. means, it's a karshan, means one who attracts. That's the meaning of if you... Attracts live, what? Yes. He's so it's all attractive. That's the meaning of Krishna. Okay. You know, like you have the meaning of every word, yeah. so that the meaning of Krishna means one who is all attractive. So one who is all attractive when? When he has all power as well, when he is all renunciate as well, mm. when he is all beautiful as well, when he is all rich as well. Okay. It makes sense? Yes. So it makes all sense when you put it in a bigger picture. Mm. So yeah, when you chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, that means, oh God, you are amazing, you are the source of all the happiness, and you are the reservoir all the, of all the pleasure. Do you See? think Krishna enjoys that, to hear that? Yes, because everyone loves, because, what's the name sir? Mark. Mark, do you don't like when I give you a compliment? Yes, of course. So why well, wouldn't God wouldn't like you? I wouldn't want you constantly chanting compliments. I'd want to have a conversation yes, with you. Because when we say we constantly glorify the Lord, because we constantly, when you say, do you have any friend when you, when you constantly appreciate even if you're not saying him on the face, yeah. you constantly have it. You have a deeper appreciation in your heart for that person. Sure, yeah. yeah. So we say for the God, because our appreciation is not deep enough. You're yeah. constantly saying it, so that one day you would have that real appreciation comes in your heart. Yeah. Right? And when you have that real appreciation, you always, anyways, saying like when you when a new boy gets into a relationship with a girl, mm. he's saying 24/7, "I love you, love. I love you, love. I love you, love." Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Even that is the relationship like two days back. What to talk about the relationship with the God? Why wouldn't you say but God? Krishna has been listening to that for 2,000 years or more. He loves it. He loves it. He loves it. Believe it. He loves it. The girl likes it when the boy says even the thought of time, I love you. Uh, she loves it. Ask her. Oh, uh, well. So, I mean, you're... So they passed it. What the Hare 
much that people do. It's not just trying to play your part. It's not just, it's not just loving them. But what do, you, do you do things for other people? Do you help the poor? Many things do. We do the food for life. Um, we we try, deliver 1,000 plates every day, five course meal. In London, you must have heard about it. It's yes. called the food for life. Yes. We do many more things. We do yoga, meditation. We go, if there is any war or something, we go there, we distribute free food. Whatever we can do in our limited capacity. That's really good. We do it. But we say the basic principle, but the crust is still there, that you love the God. Because unless until you don't love the God, you don't do all other things. Yeah. Do you think somebody who doesn't believe in any gods, like an atheist or an, somebody who's agnostic mm -hmm. and, and wants to do good for other people, mm -hmm. and there are people like that, they'll go yes. out and they'll give food to the hungry. Wonderful, they do it, but what we say, when is we do something, that is, when we do something, it's unmotivated, just do it. But when someone else do it, not that we are judging anyone, but you can see in the, from the past, you know, we say your character speaks louder than your words. The people who give those generous donations, what is their character? Mm. What are they doing in their daily life? Yeah. Right? Are they are they actually? It's like I'm doing this part good, but these things, this side, I can do bad. He okay. said, No, no, no. Do something with a heart, clean heart. Yeah. Clean heart, then it goes deeper. People are not looking for your money. People are looking for your good words. Yeah. Right? People are. People, they might not find somebody. Somebody maybe really really need food, but they need cure condolence more than your food mm. right if you have a deeper love for them genuinely that food will automatically come so when we give the food not we don't give because oh someone is dying from the hunger no we give it because we love him mm. and because we love him we give the food when you give people food yes do you also tell them about krishna or do you just give them the food we just give them the food but if they want to know about krishna why not yeah i think they'd know by looking at you <laughs> You know, because you have the, the yellow line yes. down your your nose. How, what does that mean exactly? If you surrendering to the God, this time, these two lines are signifying that God, I'm surrendering to you, and the small is on your lotus feet. If there is a God, we are always in His feet. Oh, okay. All right then. So, have, were you born into this religion, or did you, did you? I was a railway engineer. I was working for London Underground. You were working for London Underground? I was a railway engineer. Railway engineer? Oh, wow. That's a good money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you gave money. that up. That's good money, yeah. as you said. Yeah. It was a good money. Um, railway pays good, decent enemies in this country. Yes, it Anywhere does. in this world, railway pays good. Yes, yeah. But it's like, everyone says money doesn't buy happiness. But only, only few believe in it, you know? Yeah. And I believe in it. You're happier now. Yes. Otherwise, why would we be doing in the school wearing this bed sheet? Okay, so you're giving away these free books then? We're giving away these books. We're asking for a small favor, read it with, and pass it on to someone else. We're mm. asking people to make some contribution to help us. Yeah. So that we print more books and give it to other people. Okay. Because these books help other. That's all we do. Oh, so you, you need a contribution before? You can, because that would be helpful, because otherwise how will we print these books? All I have is credit cards on me. I don't actually have any physical money. But make small, whatever you can do. See with a credit card? No, not to me. <laughs> no. um, if you find some small place to get... No, when I come back from Sainsbury's, yeah, I'll We're just I'll leaving have, now, I'll have today. Some How about You're back here tomorrow, aren't you? Um, no. And then I'll, I'll, get, I'll get one tomorrow. Let me give you the sleepless. Um, it's an open day thing. Come along sometime. And try to have a new program. Oh, can I actually come to the, um, yeah. the temple? Yeah. I, can I just show up yeah. there? Why not? What, what will happen? We are vegetarians. We don't bite anyone. Oh, that's good. That's <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. We don't bite anyone. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a place. It's a monastery. You can come sometime, anytime, whenever you like. And these are the day, open days, and the program's there. You can come, enjoy the festival. So there's yoga, religion yeah. or spirituality. Yeah. So there will, be, there will be talks on it. We will be talking on it. What okay. does that mean? How do we understand what does the philosophy actually mean? Sure. And there will be various days, various topics. Um, soul Expressions Mega Party, they do once in a one Saturday. Yeah. So if you could contact one of them, person, they will tell you which Saturday it is. Um, you can so I should them. make contact first yes, before yes. I come, really? I mean, you can come anyways, but for these programs, you, can, you, have to, you can tell them in advance. Is there a bus that goes from here to, mm -hmm. to Let's Walk Here? It's a tough journey. I used to drive bike yeah. uh, from from Bushi to Watford Temple. Yeah, yeah. Or sometimes taxi. Okay. But it's a difficult. 
But it's like for every good thing you have to make little endeavor. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for talking. What Let is your name? Something. Ganesh. What's the name again? Ganesh. I know that name. That's one of the. That's that's a Hindu god, isn't it? Yes. What's the name, sir? Mine's Mark. Mark. It's yeah. Wonderful to meet you, Mark. Okay. Yeah, I would like a copy of that, but it'll have to be um, next time I see you. Thank you so much for speaking to me, Ganesh. Let me give you this gift. This is a gift for you. Yes. What is this? It's a small book. Everyone is speaking. What's your IQ? What is your EQ? How intelligent you are? How rich you are? But we are speaking. How happy you are? Spiritual, okay. like a spiritual IQ. Yes. Oh, so it's a little test I can take. No, no. This is we're saying. You see, you can take these small essays. You can see how spiritual you are after reading that thing. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. See you later. See ya. Bye bye.